What's up you guys, Namicon here, bringing you my perspective of what entertainment is bringing us. And today we'll be talking about an NES classic, Castlevania. Released on September 26, 1986, the game was a critical and a commercial success. With critics praising its tight controls and soundtrack and has sold over a million copies. The main protagonist of the game is Simon Belmont. He has entered Dracula's castle to stop his evil deeds. That's it. Although in terms of story in terms of story for the Castlevania franchise, this isn't the first game. No, it that goes to the Lamont of Innocence, if you want to go get into the Castlevania lore. The game starts off as Simon reaches a big ass castle, showing off that you are on the big quest to defeat Dracula and his minions. Then then after that, it straight up lets you play the game. The great so yeah, the present presentation is quite excellent. It literally get shows you how shows you how big of a quest the uh, the game gets you to be, and once once the music and uh, once you know how to once you get the hanger, the controls, and the and the vampire killer theme song starts, you know you're in for a blast. I always I always love when games do that. It just lets you straight up play the game like in an instant games such examples are doom night doom mario sonic pac-man contra yeah most of most of the examples are old school stuff but still so the main weapon you use is the vampire killer whip along with various tools at your disposal such as the boomerang an axe a knife and the holy water i love the holy water it easily decimates ground-based opponents with ease. When it comes to air-based opponents, the boomerang is the way to go. With all these weapons at your disposal, you think this game would be a breeze, right? RUN! Oh my god. This game is hard. This game is this game is so hard. The reason why this game stood out by many people is because this game is really difficult to beat. Not only is Simon pretty feels pretty stiff to control, but some of the enemies are a pain in the ass to deal with. For example, those flying Medusa heads come out of nowhere with little to almost no time to react. And even if you figure out the patterns, they're extremely annoying to deal with. And those hunch oh don't even get me started on those hunchbacks. Oh my god, I can't I still to this day cannot figure out their patterns. What what also doesn't help with its difficulty, specifically in the NES version, is whenever you touch an enemy, not only do you lose quite a bit of health, you get but you get knocked back. Which wouldn't be bad if some of the level designs revolve around pits. Seriously, if you touch an enemy whenever you are in a bottomless pit, you lose you automatically lose a life. It's automatic game over. You might be think you might be asking. What do you mean by the NES version specifically? Well, in the Japanese version of the game, not only you don't take as much damage as in the NES game, but there's also no knock knockback. So yeah, if if you if you're interested in playing the first Castlevania game, I highly suggest you play the Famicom version. You can get the Famicom version in the Castlevania Anniversary Collection on the on the Switch. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's on the PS4, but I know it's on the Switch. You can get if it's on the PS4, you can you can get you can get the you can play the Famicom version there as well. So, but I I always but the the level design is really good. I do have to admit, despite the game being a pain in the ass, the level design, the enemies, they're all designed very well, and the music. Oh my God, the music is. The music is godlike. It is absolutely awesome. This is probably one of my, one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite soundtracks in any a in any eight bit era. Seriously, Vampire Killer, Out of Time, Stalker, the the, the final boss theme song. It's so every single song is so good. This is. Ca the the Castlevania soundtrack is most I think pretty sure the Castlevania soundtrack is mostly highly regarded as for the soundtrack which 
I can't necessarily blame them since every since almost every single song the first first game are absolute bangers. <laughs> you and you and there's and you can see that with the and with in Smash Ultimate. There's 35 Castlevania songs. 35. More than 5 of which are from the first game. That's how you know the this the this franchise is highly regarded in terms of in terms of the music. Otherwise, if you, I highly suggest you play the Famicom version of the Castlevania if you don't if you don't want to get if you don't want to get pissed off. If you if you want if you want a challenge, try I get get the NES version then. I think I still I still think the game the game holds I still think the game holds up I still think it's a great time despite the NES version being a being a fuck being a fucking pain in the ass. Otherwise, what do you guys think of the first Castlevania game? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow my Twitter and Instagram and Discord in the description down below. Castlevania for the NES gets an eight out of ten. This is Namicon, and I'll see you next time.